In the world of Formula One, rivalries aren't exactly an anomaly. Rather, intense dynamics are pretty much standard, both on and off the track. But one of the most intense and intriguing dynamics that we've seen in recent years has unexpectedly emerged at McLaren. In a surprising turn of events, the team's rookie sensation, Oscar Piastri, has not only challenged the established star, Lando Norris, but this challenge has also managed to reignite the competitive spirit within the team. So let's take a look at how this in-team rivalry is progressing and how Norris has recently taken steps to alleviate the tension. In Formula One, it's often the rookie driver who is expected to learn the ropes from their more experienced teammates. This has been the case for decades, with the likes of Lewis Hamilton learning from Fernando Alonso during his rookie season. However, there are always exceptions to the norm. Oscar Piastri, as the new golden boy of F1, is quickly becoming one of those exceptions and for good reason. The Australian driver's journey is marked by a series of extraordinary achievements at an astonishingly young age, including clinching the FIA Formula Renault Euro Cup Championship title in 2019 at the age of 80. Piastri achieved the seemingly impossible in 2020 by conquering the FIA Formula 3 Championship in his rookie season and dominated the FIA Formula 2 Championship in 2021 by securing pole positions and clinching feature race victories, ultimately emerging as the F2 champion. Oscar's junior racing career boasts 14 track victories, with nine of them coming at current Formula 1 venues. Additionally, he secured 16 pole positions, 21 overall victories, and a remarkable 46 podium finishes. His journey eventually led him to McLaren, where he made his much-anticipated Formula One debut in 2023. However, his entry into the world of Formula One was marred by a soured relationship with Alpine, when the team announced him as their 2023 driver without his prior knowledge. At the beginning of the season, all eyes were set on Oscar Piastri to see how he fared in the challenge of matching the performance of his McLaren teammate, Lando Norris. But he has entered his debut season, all guns blazing. While the points gap between him and Norris is more than double, Piastri has consistently demonstrated a level of skill and determination that rivals Norris himself. Meanwhile, Belgian-British driver Lando Norris made his F1 debut with McLaren in 2019, and his tenure at McLaren witnessed him easily surpassing Daniel Ricciardo during the Australian driver's two-season stint with the team in 2021 and 2022. Despite Ricciardo's impressive tally of seven Grand Prix wins, he struggled with adapting to the team's car particularly facing difficulty with cornering. This struggle ultimately led to McLaren parting ways with him a year ahead of his contract expiration. To replace him, the team brought in Piastri, whose debut F1 season has showcased immense promise and the capacity to put pressure on Norris. Now, what adds spice to this intra-team rivalry is the fact that McLaren naturally favoured Norris initially, providing him with upgrades at the start of the season. However, when McLaren finally upgraded his car, allowing Piastri to showcase his skills fully, he rapidly climbed the grid, consistently proving himself as a formidable contender alongside Norris. He achieved an impressive fifth-place finish in Hungary and held on to his second-place qualification during the sprint race at the Belgian Grand Prix. And the drama continues, as in the recent Italian Grand Prix, Piastri outqualified Norris for the third time in a row. Regarding the P2 finish during the second practice at Monza, Norris said, To begin the day, not so good. Really, the only run we looked competitive was this final run, which makes us look very good. But I'd say we're not as good as what it looks. The intense rivalry between Piastri and Norris became evident when the two McLaren drivers collided while entering Turn 1 at Monza. McLaren's strategic decision to opt for an early pit stop for Norris allowed him to undercut his teammate, resulting in the contact between the two when Piastri exited the pits on lap 24. On lap 24, Norris and Piastri engaged in a battle for the 10th position, resulting in contact between the two. The tension between them was palpable, as neither person was willing to concede their position, although fortunately there was no substantial damage to either car. As the race unfolded, Norris secured an eighth-place finish, 
while Piastri dropped to 12th after sustaining damage in a separate incident involving Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes. In the heat of the competition, Norris was already showing signs of frustration, pushing the team to prompt Piastri to pick up the pace while trailing behind him, moments before the two made contact. And when we turn to former F, one driver, Timo Glock's analysis of Norris's tense radio conversations and evident frustration, he interprets these as unmistakable indicators of the growing pressure within the McLaren team, all thanks to Piastri's stellar performances, a feat that Ricciardo never quite managed to accomplish. When Ricciardo joined McLaren, fans and critics alike expected a bromance of epic proportions between the two charismatic drivers. However, this anticipated chemistry didn't materialize as expected since Ricciardo struggled to match Norris's performance on the track, and the bromance remained more of a potential than a reality. As Glock remarked in his column for Sky Germany, with Lando Norris, I've noticed in several races that he is annoyed on the radio or comes across as annoyed. You never know in the heat of the moment whether he means it, but it's an issue because he now has a teammate who puts a bit of pressure on him and drives at his level. Discussing this intense intra-team rivalry on the BBC's Checkered Flag podcast at Monza, former Renault driver Jolian Palmer said, Norris is definitely feeling the heat from a really good rookie this year. Piastri was at fault for their small touch, but they got away with it. And thankfully for McLaren, they didn't have damage, unlike the Piastri-Hamilton touch, which was what ended Piastri's chances of points today. He added that Piastri is doing a really good job of making him feel the heat, even though Lando has got the upper hand at McLaren. But compared to the last two years with the other Aussie in the car, Ricciardo, this is a very different prospect for Norris, who's having to dig deep to beat his teammate. It's always uncomfortable when you have a touch like that, but at least they can look at the end and think that it made no impact on the Grand Prix. On the other hand, McLaren team principal Andrea Stella made it absolutely clear that Norris and Piastri must always put the team above their own interests when racing on track. There should never ever be contact between two McLaren cars. There was contact, which doesn't fit the way we go racing at McLaren. What is important is to have clear perimeter as to what you deem acceptable and what you deem unacceptable. In an effort to ease the growing tension, Lando Norris publicly praised Oscar Piastri while also taking a subtle dig at Ricciardo. According to a tweet from at the McLaren Zone, Norris stated, He's definitely pushed me a lot more this year than I've had over the last couple of years, which is a good thing. Despite Norris's efforts to make amends with Oscar Piastri, it seems that the teammate battle at McLaren is far from over. While Glock's take acknowledges that the dynamics at McLaren have shifted significantly with Piastri's arrival, he believes that it'll only make things more interesting. I'm excited to see how this develops because Oscar Piastri is getting closer and wants his chances too. I can understand that he is showing his displeasure by being strategically placed behind Norris. You can wait for things to get a little more restless at McLaren. As the season approaches its last legs and the Abu Dhabi GP draws closer with each weekend, fans eagerly await the next chapter of this captivating teammate rivalry. What do you think its impact will be on McLaren's performance in the upcoming races? Stay tuned for the updates and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such content.